All right, so I would now like to introduce our first presenter, which is Mamenal. And the title of his presentation is AG Biomass Cellulose, a valuable source to develop biodegradable plastics. So Mamenal, if you want to start sharing your screen now, um, you'll have three minutes. As soon as you start talking, we'll begin recording you. Thank you, Sarah, for your nice introduction. Can everyone see my screen now? Yeah, we can see your screen. Good afternoon, everyone. I am pleased to have this opportunity to present within three minutes on Speedy Science Competition 2022. Plastics are versatile and cost-effective materials with a wide range of functionalities. However, Due to lack of biodegradability, environmental and health concern regarding plastic disposal are immense. Plastic takes more than 700 years to break down and only 9% actually get recycled, unfortunately. No matter how much we use the recycle bin, the rest ends up in the landfills and oceans and killing over more than 1 million of marine animals each year. In addition, to the environmental problem, the leaching of chemicals such as polypropylene from the plastic and transfer to human and wildlife induce harmful and carcinogenic health impact. So what are the solutions to this problem? Tartis and cellulose from sustainable and abundant agriculture biomass stand out as a viable alternative to develop biodegradable plastics. The high percentage of cellulose in agriculture biomass is comparable to woods that indeed can save more trees and prevent global warming. In this regard, it is more prudent to extract cellulose from agriculture biomass instead of cutting down trees. And cellulose is extracted from agriculture biomass by using a combination of alkaline and bleaching treatment. Due to its long structure with the stiff uh, molecule, cellulose is insoluble in water that limits its overall utility. That's why zinc chloride is used to solubilize the cellulose and later calcium chloride is added to further strengthening the zinc cellulose chains towards film development. And the films developed by this protocol are biodegradable transparent as well as have high tensile strength that we can see in the picture. And in terms of biodegradability, in the graph, we can see that the films completely biodegrade within 28 to 35 days. And more surprisingly, in the bar graph, we can see that the cellulose-based film have high tensile strength even compared to commercial polythene. Overall, Cellulose-based film from sustainable agricultural biomass can not only address the plastic issue, but it can provide value addition to farmer as well as to agricultural industries. Thank you.